What's up everybody, it's Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys a quick and easy layering technique that are going to make your melodies stand out so much better. What's up everybody, it's Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Today I'm going to be going over a quick layering technique, a type of mindset and methodology that you can use in any DAW um, Studio One, Cubase Pro Tools, Fruity Loops, and of course Machine. So, if you're thinking about crying in the comments about... Um, looking at machine right now while I'm showing you guys this awesome tool and trick, you know, go ahead. I would love to beef with you in the comments. I troll all day. We do this. So anyhow, what I have here is I have this, is I have this scene set up, this track right here, and it's a simple, um, just piano arp that's moving up. Nothing crazy about it, right? just let's throw a little limiter on here so you guys can hear this in your speakers all right so it's a pretty repetitive melody right now there's nothing wrong with writing songs that have repeating melodies. There's plenty of excellent hit records that have, you know, that same old one, two, three, four melody, and that's fine. Um, but if you're going to do it nowadays in today's climate, you got to make sure that you're adding a certain level of interest to it. Um, and that's going to be in your sound selection and in your sound design. So sound design doesn't always mean you know programming a synth from scratch so in inside of this pattern here i have i've, I've got uh, three sounds going on that's making up the overall um sound of the beat i have i have um let's let's just go through and solo them All right, so that is um, that is uh, like a that's a low, that's a bell played in a low octave, um, and the reason why I'm not you know showing the MIDI or any or any type of um, or any type of plugins or anything like that is because is because this is this is a um, this is a listening exercise. This is something I really want you guys to pay attention to with your ears um because you can look at the screen all you want but if you're one of these producers that does everything by eye and you're not losing you're not using your ears you're gonna hit a ceiling in in your vibe real quick so i got that guy going on and that's kind of taking care of the lower frequencies then i have i got this guy here All right, so and and what and what that's doing is that's playing an open chord that's stacking with what's going on in the um in the art melody, and as you could hear, this is a much this is a higher um, octave sound. So that one's kind of that one's kind of taking taking care of the frequency ranges that are a little bit higher and because they're higher it doesn't have to be as loud so definitely something that you want to keep in mind when you're layering and every time i do a layering tutorial i talk about this you definitely want to keep in mind that you need to you know stack your frequencies that's what you know that's what you're doing you find one sound that maybe doesn't have a lot of high frequencies then another sound that 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 maybe has a full frequency spectrum but you could filter it and that's what we did with this next sound and um it's a real aggressive filter and i don't think that a lot of people would um 
I mean, I know that this is done fairly commonly, but I know a lot of uh, producers who are just starting out and don't have a lot of experience with layering and sound design don't think to do this step. But this is this is what brings out um, these type of these type of melodies that are based around an instrument that's played in a lower octave like that bell is played in C2, which is a bass octave. Right. So then I put this on top of it. So let me show you what I got going on here. All right, so as you can see, I have I have a filter on it and the filter cut off. It's a high pass filter and I've got it cranked all the way up. This is what it this is what the sound sounds like without a filter on it. Which which whatever that's a cool sound too and even if you were to add it in the context it doesn't it doesn't sound bad at all and it's 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 fulfilling um you know the the um the idea that i want which is i want to have um you know, something that's really taken up that um, that range up between like 10K and 20K because, you know, that first sound that I'm playing doesn't have um, those frequencies at all. They're pretty much rolled off. But the thing about it is, is this patch is um, it's so complex and it has so much that when I play it with um, with just with just the um with just the original bell it'll have a tendency to stick out too far and then if i turn it down um the the high frequencies that i want in there get buried so so it just it doesn't work and i think a lot of the times when when you start off i know when i started off layering sounds i would i would run into these situations where i find something that kind of sort of sounded good and i would try to get the the spatial relationship the um the volume relationship to sit right and it wouldn't work so i would just go to another preset and really what i should have been doing was filtering out the stuff that i didn't want so as you can see if you look um underneath where it says frequency right there i just cranked this um this frequency or this cutoff all the way up to um uh 12.5 kilohertz which is you know pr which is as high as it goes and that's when when you do it you wind up with this sound So the big difference there is that I'm I'm getting I'm getting that that gap where there was no frequencies because um you know because they were rolled off in the original patch and I'm and I'm only using the the high frequencies that I'm missing from my layering patch and that is that is how you take these melodies that are you know that are coming from that are coming from um these patches and from these octaves you know especially with especially with like um the stuff that's coming now now with like metro and sunny digital stuff where they're you know where they're using these rolled off arps and things like that you want to stack something on top of it um that that just has those high frequencies and that's what's gonna make it more pronounced in the mix and it's gonna make it sound like more of a professional track and you want to think of it like um you know if you got experience with 808s this is like putting distortion on an 808 you're adding the upper harmonics to things remember if you want to hear something and you want it to stick out in the mix but you've got it pushed as far to the front as it can possibly go without ruining the balance the next step is is to um, have another instrument harmonize with it with the same notes, but pl played up in a higher octave and then, um, or, or whatever octave is missing, and then go ahead and filter that stuff out. So, you know, just to wrap it up, don't simply scroll past, you know, um, when you're layering, don't scroll past presets that don't work. 
um, go ahead and set an, aggra an aggressive filter to fill out the frequency spectrum that you're trying to accentuate in your layering and then and then flip through your sounds like that and i promise you you're gonna find so many presets in your synths especially something like omnisphere um just so many different layering tools that, that you know that you can use in conjunction with your favorite patches to to go ahead and start making sounds that are uniquely yours like because Everybody knows anybody could take the popular bell patch, patches from that from Omnisphere and make a decent beat, but it's the people that know how to layer them and flip them and um, turn them into something that is uniquely their own that actually go out and shine and you know make it selling beats in a marketplace where everybody who's got Omnisphere you know knows knows the decent presets and is giving away free beats. So if your plan is to shine and be a professional and place records um this is definitely a technique that you are going to want to master so this is concrete zebra with craft master production studio one tutorials.com keep it simple don't be basic and we'll see you on the next one